Okay, so before you know it, it's a week before Halloween and you're still wondering with absolutely no idea what you're going to be wearing this year to make the decision even easier for you. Embrace the easy day of the dead makeup look with our very own me and our very own Anel who's helped me put it together. So now you may be wondering how to do it. Well, we've got you covered with the crazy store. Big or small, we've got it all. Everyone will find something at the Crazy Store. It's no wonder South Africa considers the Crazy Store the crazy fun place to shop. Killing it on Halloween isn't just for celebrities and their special effects teams. If you are looking for a way to bring to life that classic Day of the Dead look, then look no further. Myself and Expresso makeup artist Anel van Veeg have curated a special, easy how-to guide on how you too can get this Halloween look going. And if you're wondering how, it's because the crazy store is making it all possible and the possibilities are endless with their spectacular range of products, goodies and face paints. It's going to be so much fun. So, Anel, you've got me to wash my face. I'm all prepped and ready for it. What's next? Okay, so the first step is to paint your face white. Yes, so we're going to dip the brush into water and dip into the white face paint. Okay, so we're going to start at the forehead, going downwards. And just cover your whole face with white face paint. Make sure your skin is not peeking through <laughs> to yeah. give you a skull lock effect. Apply the makeup from the top of your forehead just before the hairline to the sides of your face at the edge of your ear and around your jawline just under the chin. Don't go all the way under your chin or down onto your neck. You may need to apply multiple coats so your face is covered completely. You don't want the makeup to be too caked or become lumpy, but you want your face to appear fully white with no skin showing through. Okay, so I finished your whole face, but I left the eye area open. Like this. <laughs> Anel, we can't do half jobs with my face, please. So the reason for that is we're going to draw or paint on circles now and then we're going to fill it in with black paint to give it that hollow effect because this is a sugar skull. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Don't worry about making a perfect circle because you can always blend it in with makeup in the later steps. So the next step is the nose. It's very easy, it's just a triangle, like this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Use black paint or liquid eyeliner to emphasize the nose. Start on the bridge of your nose and paint at least to the tip, forming a triangle with rounded points. You can also paint the whole nose covering the nostrils if you want to. Okay, so for the mouth, we're gonna draw a line, but we're gonna extend it past the edges of your mouth. The other option is you can extend it all the way to your jawline. Why? To give you that bigger smile effect. <laughs> for the teeth, draw small vertical lines through the horizontal line. This completes the stitching of the mouth. So now it's for the fun part. So I'm going to create flower petals around the circle and I'm going to use some colour. This is where you can put a bit of colour in it. I'm going to use red. And also you can now decorate your face. So you can put on webs, flowers, teardrops, all that jazz. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Halloween queen! <laughs> Adelki, well, Halloween is the perfect time to get creative with the crazy store. Makeup and face paint are the two items that really elevate your costume when it comes to Halloween. And this look, which Anel has crafted, is inspired by the Mexican Day of the Dead. It is the perfect combination of spooky and sweet. Thanks, Anelki. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Big or small, we've got it all. Everyone will find something at the Crazy Store. It's no wonder South Africa considers the Crazy Store the crazy fun place to shop.